Hey, you're watching a small video from my larger course. If you do want the bigger course, there'll be a link just down here somewhere. All right, so now we get to make mock-ups. Well, kind of, okay? And um, before we actually start doing the kind of wireframing and those types of things, we need to get a kind of a features list, okay? What are we gonna include in this new app, this new website, this extra feature? Okay, you might have a core nugget of an idea, but you need the kind of supporting stuff as well. What other features does it need to have to make it work? Okay, and this is where you do it again as a group team, okay? So you want to make sure everybody's on board and, and kind of singing from the um, same song sheet. Now, um, first thing to do is make sure, say you've done, you could do this in one big group. You could do your personas and then afterwards, maybe after a lunch break, um, come back and do the features list just as a bit of a time so you can kind of adjust the, um, the persona or you could do it the following week or something like this. So get everybody back together. And then it's just a matter of making sure they've read the persona so they really understand you know, who the features are for. And then come back and get your post-it notes again. Yay, we get to do more post-it notes. Okay, and just get people to yell out features. Okay, say we're using my, my, my website as an example. Okay, so it's an online training site and delivering videos. Um, you know, and you start at the ball rolling. It might be, it needs a forum. You write that down, stick it to your wall. Okay, somebody else might say it needs, uh, you know, a live chat for the trainer. Great, add that to it. It needs a pause button and a play button, okay? It needs, um, it needs some sort of maybe bookmarking or adding notes and you kind of just get the ball rolling with everybody and no feature is, you know, bad. Just add them all on there stick them to the wall, and once you've got a kind of a, um, a group together, uh, you know, a bunch of them together, where you've exhausted your features list, you might have hundreds, okay? You might have 10, there might be, you know, it might be, yeah, there might be loads, it might be only a little bit. So group them all together, and, and any features that are kind of very similar, you know, stick together on your whiteboard, okay? Put them overlapping and say that that's kind of the same thing, so cut it down. Then remove anything that are like essential. And for mine, mine's a video training site, so there's no point talking about the value of having a video on the page. It's the most important, yes, and that's always gonna win, but it's essential. And for me, um, mine's a paid subscription site. Okay, so some sort of login is a feature, yes, but can we exist without it? No, there's the, the business doesn't exist without some sort of logging in thing for students. Okay, so I remove that off there and get it down to the, um, you know, the kind of the supporting features rather than the core stuff. Anything that's a bit iffy, leave in there. Okay, and you think, oh, maybe we could be without this. Maybe that's arguable. Leave it in there. Okay, then, um, uh, then you need to prioritize. Okay, you might have a big list and then what do you work on? Because the developer might be thinking it definitely needs this thing, okay? It needs a forum because that's what his experience, life experience, that's what's gonna be really good for this thing. And the CEO though might be thinking, you know, the whole reason for this thing is to have, you know, I don't want this interaction with students. I want it to be kind of like a, a, a zombie website where it goes off and looks after itself. He doesn't want a big support team and people running it. So you've got to get, you know, get all these ideas and then you've got to prioritize them. Okay, so the way to prioritize them, there's a couple of ways. The easy ways, you just sit around and do it together, okay? Um, and you s maybe there's the Monopoly money way where you all sit down and you buy features. Okay, so you go through all the feature lists and try and cut it down to a reasonable amount. If there's some really weird stuff, okay, you might remove it off, okay? But get it down to maybe 10 or 20 and then you can do stuff, give everybody some Monopoly money and you get them to, you pull up one post-it note, you stick it there and you say, all right, how much are people gonna spend on this? Um, you know, what, how, how, how much value do they think it has? And they might get given, you know, a thousand um, fake dollars. If you don't have Monopoly money, you can use anything. You might be trading pens or coins or whatever's lying around the office, okay? And it, it, it makes people a sign of value and in saying that, it makes them take a value away from something else. Because you can't say, that is the top. That is also the top, which people do. They have to be both the top. They can't be. You have to start somewhere. You have to do something. So you need some sort of ordering. So they might say, you know, pull up a feature. And for me, it might be the forum. So I think that's really valuable. I might cough up 500 bucks for that one. Knowing that I've only got 500 to, uh, you know, to go around the other ones. And it kind of, you can just pile the money on top and then count it at the end. Okay, then you've got a priority list. You start at whoever got the most money and work your way back through that list. And because you've all done it together, it's a really nice way of doing it because it means that the developer who had a different idea from that CEO doesn't go, well, my idea is better. Why isn't he doing it? Because they've had that chat. By putting the money down, conversations start happening and you start working out priorities and everybody starts getting on the same page. You might disagree, 
but um, it doesn't matter because you've you've kind of been part of why you know you understand the reasoning why these people have gone this way, and it might help things like you know because often a new idea, it's the, the idea for these are kind of locked in people's heads, especially the kind of um, you know the owner or the the people 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 initiating the, the the project. They might have it in there and know what they want to do, but the other people don't know. Okay, so it kind of elicits all that sort of conversation. So that's one way of doing buying money. That's one way. Um, problem with that way is, and what you can get round, is kind of more like a poker version of that exact same thing. Give everybody the money. And what you do is you put the feature out and everybody has to put down at the same time. Okay, because what happens is you get a bit of a boss bias where, um, you know, uh, say there's five of you around a table, the CEO and his employees. What happens is when you do that first example with the monopoly money is that whatever the boss does, everyone kind of like follows along, you know, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, me too, you know, just to make sure, just keep everybody happy. Okay. And um, whereas if you do more of a poker one where everyone has to kind of be, you turn into a poker, like a poker kind of style thing and you try and make a game out of it because you don't want people to be caught out or feel bad is it's literally one, two, three, and you put your money down and then you kind of Look around, because then there's no boss bias. You know, everyone's just put down what they think, rather than kind of just like going around in a circle and just seeing what the boss put down and just kind of copying him. Okay, so that's kind of a nice way of doing it, nice and easy. What I find the um, the the most useful for me when I'm working, I deal with a lot of startups and kind of one man band type things when we're doing UX or a lot of my projects. Okay, um, is uh, pairwise comparisons. We'll do that. I find that's probably out of all of them my favorite that I've ever run. It works the easiest. Um, yeah, it's less gamey than the the poker stuff. So and you can do it by yourself as well. It's really handy. Um, so let's do that in a whole new video and we'll show you how to do that as a group. Hey, did you enjoy the course? If you want to see the full, big, long, unedited version, there'll be a link just down here.